Hi guys, Jim at Rainwater Equipment and Rain Harvesting Supplies here today. Going to spend a few minutes talking about the DAB Detron 2. Uh, the Detron 2 is an on-demand single speed booster pump. Uh, it's meant to be submerged inside of a water tank. It has a inch and a quarter female connection on the top. It's got a lifting handle so you can carry the pump by the handle. You never want to lower or lift the pump by the power cable. There's also a spot on the top of the pump where you may run a rope or cable through that allows you to lower this down into the water storage tank. These are used in uh, rainwater harvesting applications and in well water applications. Uh, a lot of times where uh, you'll have a customer who has a low producing well and needs to store water in a, an above ground tank. And this allows you to boost that water pressure and run it into your home as needed. The Detron 2 doesn't require that it be used with a uh, expansion tank or a pressure tank, but if you do decide to integrate one into the system, you can prevent the pump from cycling on and off as often, which prolongs the life of the pump. The Detron 2 4590 is shown here in three different versions. You've got the standard version that comes uh, with a uh, base on it that has a filter. So when the water goes into the pump, it always gets filtered before discharging through the inch and a quarter on top. And then you have a, uh, an added accessory here that's optional. This is a uh, float switch that uses power line communication uh, to communicate with the pump. So uh, the float switch is there so that if the water level in the tank drops below a certain point, then it will turn the pump off, preventing airlock. The pump doesn't require the float switch because it has built-in dry run protection. But it's a nice feature. It can let you know uh, when your water tank is empty. And again, it can prevent airlock uh, with the water pump. The X version of the Detron 2 comes with a one inch sidewall connection on the bottom of the base here, which allows you to add a floating filter. So the floating filter has a one inch male thread, screws in here. And these are often used in rainwater harvesting applications. The filter itself will rise and fall with the water level in the storage tank. And as the pump turns on, water gets pulled through this 250 micron stainless steel filter and then enters the suction side of the pump, uh, discharging the water out the top. And that allows you to draw the cleanest water from the tank rather than where the sediment is on the bottom. This pump is a single phase 115 volt uh, pump that is uh, also available by special request in 230 volt, but uh, are stocked in the U.S. in 115, and it runs on about 11 amps. Hello, I'm Ron Van Sickle. My company is Secure Water. We install water storage tanks and rainwater harvesting in Central Texas, and today we're going to talk about DAB pumps. We recently switched over to using DAB pumps, uh, specifically the Detron 2, Detron 3. We really like the idea of a submersible pump. We like to collect the water uh, in large storage tanks and the best place in our mind to put the pump is inside the tank where it's protected from the weather, from insects, from uh, vandals. Uh, we also like the fact that it is uh, not an issue uh, with run dry. If you uh, have a pump that runs dry, once water re-enters the tank, um, it is pretty much ready, primed and ready to go. Uh, we just have to reduce the pressure on the output and you're back in business. We've selected the Detron 2 for applications where we just need a 120 volt plug. It's a very simple plug and play operation. We install it inside the tank, plugs in inside and it will give us uh, demand uh, cycles. So it will turn on when the pressure drops, when it detects flow. It will shut off when the flow stops. Uh, the nice thing about that is if you're using the water in the shower or uh, filling the kitchen sink, the water is not going to turn on and off and cycle. It's going to come on and run at full pressure until you're done using it. So that's the benefit of a demand pump. Another benefit to the dab pumps is the built-in pressure tank. There is a small reservoir inside the tank that is tuned to work with the controller on the demand pump. This means that we do not need a pressure tank inside the building, which saves space and also saves cost. Those units typically do not last as long as the pumps, especially if they're in a, a harsh environment, uh, such as found in a lot of well houses. The Detron 2 series pumps uh, include an optional Detron 2X, the X model has a threaded one inch 
uh, port that you can attach a floating intake to. To install a floating intake, you will need to lay the pump on its back, start the thread, and twist it in. We typically install these a good four or five threads in. I like to leave them a little bit loose. That way, if the hose gets twisted, there's a little bit of uh, room for it to turn inside the tank to keep it from binding up. Now we've installed the riser and the floating filter onto our Detron 2X, and it's time to install it in the tank. When installing the pump, it's important not to put any strain on the cord. And ideally, you don't put strain on your plumbing either if you can avoid it. So I've brought a strap to hook onto the lifting handle, and we'll use that to lower the pump. Since this Detron 2X is equipped with a floating intake, we'll insert that into the tank first, and then lower the pump in. When the pumps are uh, installed for the first time, they will float, so you need to take some time to allow the air to come out of the pump, and then it can be lowered the rest of the way in. So now we lower the pump down to the bottom of the tank, connect the cam locks, safety pins, we'll go ahead and remove the hook, once you have your plumbing attached, you can install the cord to the outside of the tank. I like to hang the excess off the top of my riser, and we will secure our cord. We like to use zip ties for that. The Detron series pumps plug into a typical 115 volt outlet, such as this GFCI protected outlet. Okay, now we've plugged in our pump. It has come on for the first time, and it's ready to uh, enjoy plentiful water pressure. If you need more information about our company, uh, about the equipment that we supply, or if you need assistance procuring or, or determining the right type of equipment for your project, give us a call at 877-331-7008 or check us out online at rainwaterequipment.com or rainharvestingsupplies.com.